Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Let's Draw. I'm your host, BJ Dell. And in today's new Procreate tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a way that you can color in complex line art like the one you see here really fast. This method is super quick and it's going to save you a ton of time instead of using the basic paint bucket fill method. So if you want to learn all about that and more, keep watching. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video today. As always, I'm using the iPad Pro. This is a Gen 4 2020 model, 12.9 inch Apple Gen 2 pencil. The app, of course, is Procreate because this is a Procreate tutorial. And I'm gonna show you how to color in a really complex line art design like this really quickly just by using the recolor method instead of using the drag and drop paint bucket fill that a lot of people are used to. I've covered this method in previous longer tutorials, but every time that I include it in a tutorial, somebody always in the comments is saying, hey, I did not know about this. I've never heard of this before. So I thought I would give it its own kind of mini tutorial here today. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is make a new layer. And I'm going to drag this down underneath here. So we've got the line art here. We've got our new layer here. And I'm going to go to that top line art and I'm going to set this to reference. Okay. So that's going to allow us to fill in on this layer and color in without affecting our line art layer here. So usually with the drag and drop method, if you're not familiar, you would basically just drag this here release it that's the paint bucket fill method and then let's switch to blue you can see this is a large area so it doesn't really you know take that much time to do that but we've got all these circles here this would be a nightmare to fill in with that method that's why i drew this ahead of time just to have you know something really complicated like this to show you the process so that's going to take forever so we're not going to do that instead what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our adjustments magic wand here and go down to the very bottom which is recolor and you're going to see right there it recolored that blue just because you can see the cursor is right here so wherever your cursor is at when you hit that recolor under adjustments, that's gonna be the part that it recolors. But don't worry, you can just hold down the Apple Pencil, drag this over, and once you're in one of those circles, let go. So you've got that done, you've got one circle finished, and then to color in the rest, all you have to do is tap. So you can see if you're used to this drag and drop paint bucket fill, this saves so much time, it's ridiculous. So if you've got complex designs like this, I would definitely recommend using this method. You're gonna save yourself a lot of time. One thing I do recommend is zooming in quite a bit because like all the drag and drop methods and the paint bucket fill methods, if you hit an outer line like that, you're gonna see that it's gonna color in that line throughout your whole design. And you don't want that. So you might not see it further back so I really recommend getting in pretty tight so you can make sure that that doesn't happen. So you don't wanna get to the end and then realize you've gotta erase all your hard work. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in, speed up the video and come back when I switch colors. Okay, so I've got all the blue areas filled in, so I wanna go ahead and change my color now. You'll see usually here, let's say I wanted to change back to this uh, pinkish color of the body. Usually you can hold down with your finger to select a color, but that does not work on the recolor method. So what we need to do, instead of switching the color right now from here, because it's gonna change our last color, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the brush. That basically clears out that adjustment selection, and that'll allow us to go in here and freely pick our color. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna color in these little suckers around here. So I'm gonna select my main base color for my body and just drag it over to a really light color here. And go with that one. And then I'm gonna just start filling in again. So I wanna go back up to the adjustments here and go to recolor. You can see once again, my cursor here is just on the background. So if I drag that into that sucker there, colors it in, 
and I can just go around and repeat the process that we did with that blue. So once again, I'll do this and speed it up and come back in a second. Okay, so I've got all my suckers done. Once again, just hit that brush, go back up to my colors palette here, and I want kind of an in-between darkness from the body to the suckers, so we'll go with that. And you'll see here, there's only one that I did here, and I did that for a reason, just because I wanted to show you going up to recolor or going up to adjustments and going to recolor, then going over here. It is a process. It saves you time with complicated areas, but in a case like this, I would just drag and drop this one over. It's not really going to save you that much time. It's actually going to take longer by going to recolor since there's only one area. So definitely kind of weigh your decision, decide if it's worth doing the recolor. I would definitely recommend it on areas like the circles and those suckers, but little areas like this one or two areas you might not need to do it you'll see some of my tutorials on youtube i don't actually use the recolor method just because they aren't as complex as this same thing with the eyebrows here since there's only two of those i'm just going to drag and drop those doesn't take that much time and then finally for this one i'm going to go down of course i've got to get the white in there so let me clear out here and for the white i'm going to go ahead and go back in there to recolor so we'll go to recolor. Luckily, my cursor was actually over that one little circle there. So that worked. So there we go. We've got the white in. We can go ahead and turn the background back on now. Then finally, for the reference, I'm going to go and select just a really dark version or dark hue of that base color. And I'm going to drag this over and fill in the line art there. So you can see it was black. Now it's just a different version of different hue of that color. So I think that looks pretty cool. Of course, from here, you can go in and do some crazy shadows and highlights. Since this video tutorial is just all about the recolor method, I'm not going to do that. If you want to see how I approach doing shadows and highlights, definitely check out one of my other Procreate tutorials on the channel. There are an absolute ton of them. If you guys haven't yet, definitely subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. So you can get alerted when I post new videos. And if you got some helpful information out of this video today, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, also, if you guys have not yet joined, hop on over to Facebook after the video. Keep creating a learn, draw, share art community over there. Place where you can post your artwork, meet friends, give feedback, get feedback. It's an awesome place to be. So I want you guys to be a part of it as well. If you guys haven't heard yet, too, I also started a new podcast called Make Money With Your Art. If you guys want to turn your passion or your hobby into something that brings in money, either on the side or something you could possibly turn into a full time career. Definitely check that out. It's available wherever you listen to podcasts at. As for me, I can be found online BJDell.com as well as on Instagram and Twitter at BJDell. So until next time, keep creating.